Today we're going to learn an alternative way to create Facebook promoted posts within Power Editor. Let's do it! Okay, so as you know, you can currently create a Facebook promoted post by clicking on this promote button within your timeline uh, next to your post. Now, while this is great and very simple, the thing is it takes away your control. The things you, you lose control of are things like where it goes within the newsfeed. So you could, do you want to control whether it goes onto desktop only, mobile, or both? Currently only goes both. You can't currently track conversions. You can't de determine which countries it's targeted at, age, sex, precise interests, custom audiences. You can't use those. You can't target language. And you have very limited control over pricing and status. Okay? So this is why you need to start thinking about recreating these promoted posts with Empower Editor. It'll take a little bit more work, but it is worth it. Now, when you click that Promote button, most marketers don't realize this, but Facebook actually creates a campaign with up to three ads in it, depending on whether or not you targeted, targeted friends of fans. So if you go to facebook.com slash ad slash manage, you'll see that campaign. And this one is promoting this specific post that I created. And as you see down here, here are the ads that are generated. Okay, so if you open these up, you get a little bit more detail about what they are doing. So the first one is targeting just my fans, so who are connected to John Lumber Digital, who live in the U.S., within the, the news feed of both desktop and mobile. The second one is targeting friends of fans who live in the U.S., uh, who's, so again, whose friends are already connected, within the news feed of both mobile and desktop. And finally, we have a sponsored story who are going to, that would obviously reach friends and fans as well, um, within the mobile and desktop news feed. Okay, so your friend liked this post and then they see it again. So now we want to essentially recreate those three ads, with, but uh, we want to be able to customize, it, customize them a little bit more. So I'm going to show you now how to do that. First thing is you need to have Power Editor. So just go to facebook.com slash power editor um, to, to access it. And so I'm going to assume that you have some knowledge of that. And then within campaigns, you want to click create campaign, name it. I just leave it on auction, set your budget, determine a start and end date. So then you can go. You don't have to go with whatever uh, budget options that Facebook gives you. You can go beyond the three days, much more control there. So really simple to create the campaign. Next, with that uh, campaign selected, you're going to want to create an ad. So these are the three ads I recreated. Uh, so first of all, I'll just step you through it, just the basics to recreate the campaign in each individual ad. So I want to uh, reach fans within the news feed. Okay, so I created this ad from a post test ad, fans, news feed. Type, you want to select ad, and then select for a Facebook page using a page post. Make sure you choose your Facebook page that you want to promote a post, and then select that specific post. Select news feed, desktop, and mobile, and uh, leave everything else the same there. Now, within country, I could just leave it at United States. I had a few others here. And then I left everything else as default, um, and then I entered my name my page within the connections target users who are connected to. Advanced options didn't do anything there. Pricing status, pricing status didn't do anything there. Just optimized CPM. That's exactly the way Facebook sets it up uh, on a promoted post as well. So the only difference uh, within the friends of fans is on the connections. I made sure to remove the name of my page here in the first connection, target users who are connected to, put in the name of my page here for target users who are not already connected to, target users who are friends, whose friends are connected to. So that was the only difference with that ad. And then finally, I created a sponsored story. And it's really up to you whether you want to use these ads, okay? But right now I'm just recreating what Facebook does. A lot of times I won't even do the sponsored story, and I don't like to target friends of fans within the news feed. But again, just replicating it for you. So the sponsored story, make sure you've got type sponsored story, select about a page post, and people liking a spe specific page post. You can also duplicate this ad, 
create another variation that's people uh, commenting on your page post, sharing your page post, etc. And then, uh, so everything else is the same. You want to target news feed. Um, every, everything else is, is, is essentially the same. Okay. So, so now the thing is, all right, so you got these created. What's the big deal? It's exactly, you, you, you spent maybe five, 10 minutes doing exactly what you could have done in 15 seconds uh, by clicking the promote button. Well, again, what I was talking about before is the amount of control you can now have. So we've got this uh, individual ad created uh, um, that targeted, targets only your fans in the news feed. Okay, first of all, you could do things like track conversions. So if you aren't familiar with uh, off-site pixels, if you share a link within this post that you're promoting, you can then track how many people uh, converted as a result of that uh, action. So that's something you have to separate, set up separately, but this is you could not do this with the typical promoted post. For more information on this, uh, make sure you check out my tutorial on offsite pixels. You can also determine, hey, I only want to target people within the desktop news feed, or I only, I only want to target people within mobile news feed, or you can just create variations to determine what works best. Then within audience, as you saw before, it was only targeting people within the U.S. because that's my, my main country uh, when I just cl click promote. But uh, maybe I want to target multiple countries. Um, I could also split test, determine which country works best. Choose men or women. You know, you may have a, a target demo. Age. I don't care if an 18-year-old, I don't want to spend money on an 18-year-old or, or someone like that seeing my ad or my post because they're not going to lead to business. So I'll probably start out at like age 25, maybe go 25 to 50, 55. You could also put in a specific interest. So you may have fans who maybe you consider lightweight who, if they don't have specific interests, aren't going to be of much use to you. So you put in precise interests or broad categories. Okay, and then go even further. Let's say custom audiences. This is, say, your email list. If you want to limit who you're spending your money on, you could, you could spend money on only people who are your fans who are also part of your email list. So you enter the custom audience uh, here for that email list. If you don't know anything about cu uh, custom audiences, make sure you read my tutorial on that. So there's so many things you can do there. And then pricing and status, as I mentioned before, Facebook only generates uh, their ads for promoted posts using optimized CPM. This is great. It optimizes it to make sure um, your ad is targeted only at people most likely to perform the desired action. It's also often more expensive, and I've found that sometimes it can be more cost effective by using just regular old CPM. Maybe you want to try CPC, but this is an option again for you to customize, to split test, to see what works best for you. Okay, so that's really it. Um, go ahead, try it out. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out this tutorial on johnloomer.com. Until next time, do awesome things. I'm out.